adventure, comedy, mystery, and romance. Aspects of all the best stories. But we promise none of these, because this is Haphazard Fiction. Previously on the House of Morpheus. I need y'all help hunting down this creature. Something big and fast. It stands close to eight feet tall. And it's very, very slender, but the shoulders are huge and broad and it's very animalistic. Fuck this. I yell, get down here. We were sent out here to kill that thing, right? Well, let's go to the house. Now shed some light. Chamberlain comes in. You, Five. you saw me rip those people in half, right? We employ many people of many backgrounds. I have to check into uh, Detective Lane, <laughs> meaning I have to go into the office. The two young women that were kidnapped by Mastermind, I guess you could call him. Would that be a vampire, sir? Yes, poet. I want to check out the house. As soon as you step past the threshold, it's pitch black. No, 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 no. <laughs> Grab his shoulder. You see what's holding your hand is this decrepit zombie taking you further into darkness. Dude! You know what? I think there's something in that. I'm honestly intrigued to see what happens next. <laughs> Bad things are gonna happen next. Oh, I, I so know this out of game. I so know this, but in game, curiosity. You're gonna to go to the stairs. You're gonna go up. Yeah, I'm going for it. I mean, I, it's actually. Attic, so I'm gonna take a peek. I'd like to try to manipulate him not to do it. Uh-huh. A uh, double right. manipulation. We're, we're touching each other here in places I never thought we would. It's called bonding. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> this, this sounds more like you're crossing mental swords, but. <laughs> Alright, so rolling 2d6. I I got a 7 total. Uh, You do not have a charm bonus. No, so Raul, you have a choice. Oh, so it's just a 6. I'm sorry, it's a 6. Oh, so that's... (laughs) Another (laughs) failure. Another fail. So... He wa- he's trying to tell you it's a bad idea to go upstairs, which makes you think, man, this is probably better that I do. I might as- I should just go upstairs. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So you can stay or you can just not do what he says and go upstairs and get an experience point. Yeah. I, um. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. You also get an experience point. <laughs> Look, I see so we're bonding. We're helping each other grow to do this. Look, I'm just going to take a peek with my head. That's it. It's I like, just want to see what's again, up there. you like do you, room. but if you lose your head, however, I had no part in this. I'm going to be ready this. I want to, I'm going to go get a bed sheet. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two bed sheets to be safe. This, Hold on. I just, I need a couple bed sheets. Like, okay. Like, okay. Like off your bed. Yeah. All right. You get a twin top sheet and then a twin fitted sheet off the bottom of your bed. So you got two sheets. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go. To a certain somebody's bedroom <laughs> and get the other two sheets. You, go, you, get, you get two sheets off of Caspian Barnes' bed. Man, this okay. is like a military bedroom, man. That that there you could you could yeah. Pop I know a he's on this. crazy. Like who makes their bed in a crazy old uh, the, the haunted house? But I want to tie the sheets. He makes a foul. You know, like if you were going to jump out the window. Yeah, but I don't time around my waist, and I want to time around like. Something sturdy <laughs> near the attic, just in case I can't see shit again. You're, I can pull on myself. <laughs> you all right? It's like he's tethering himself. You, you tether yourself. Yeah. You, you tie I'm yourself scared. off. I'm scared, but Wes I'm curious. Wes is watching you get ready to go upstairs, and he's enjoying this. He's like, <laughs> he's "This like, is gonna be awesome." This is terrible. He should not be doing this. As you start walking up the stairs to get to the the attic door, you can see up to where it is, and the door is just there, open, so to get into that that attic. Uh, the door is closed. But a baseball rolls down the stairs. Like there was no, it didn't open the door and roll out. It just all of a sudden a baseball rolls down. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you could see my face. There are probably reactions to everything happening. I'm like, what the fuck? So wait, 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 wait. Did you just say a baseball just materialized through the door? The door's closed? Well, you didn't see how it rolled down or where, but it just, <laughs> uh, it just starts rolling down from the top of the stairs. I mean, you can't see level with the top of the oh, stairs, I, so. I, 
Is the door? Can I see the door? Yeah. Is it closed? Oh yeah. The fuck! I pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. <laughs> Is it? It's cold. That's fucking weird. Is it slimy? No, it's just cold. Is there fingerprints or something on it? No, but it's dirty. It looks like an old, super beat up, like, you know, like, I don't know. Might do something right here. Like the. Did you see that shit? As as I'm like standing on the floor right on the stairs, I'm like, you really shouldn't go up there anymore. Yeah, I saw that. I think it's time to back up. Look, look, I just want to take a peek. You might not see anything ever again if you take a peek. That's why I got the sheets, man. I'm ready this time. You're really going to put your life. That's In why I didn't make the bed. hands of sheets. I'm just sheets. saying the last time I couldn't get out because I couldn't see anything. This time I can feel it. If there's got both hands on it, look at my grip. And what if it <laughs> rips? Have you thought of that? Weston, you, you, while you're talking about this, this over the edge of the, the, the balcony railing, you look down and you see Chamberlain starting standing far enough back so he can angle up and see you. And he's just got this big grin on his face. <laughs> he's holding a hamburger, just watching it like <laughs> This is the best day of my life. Yeah. He's just waiting okay. for him to go up those stairs. I just like he was as I look, go from looking at the rail, I, I make eye contact again and I'm just like, seriously, dude, you really shouldn't do this. No, he I should. Just, he should do it. He should do it. <laughs> go. I just want to take a peek. <laughs> you, you hear it a little bit. Yeah. Go. It's Seriously? almost like your conscience telling you you should just go. Hey, 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 but your hey, conscience listen, is talking in a listen, southern accent all of a sudden. You, you hear that voice? That so is weird. not in your head. I know. You need to avoid that door. Look, you know what? That's I'm a little suspicious right now. Uh I would be very suspicious. Hold on, let's let's see something. Hold on, I'm just making sure what my options are <laughs> here in a second. Uh, Bonnie comes back into the into your uh, your room. Um, Malcolm, y- you know he's about to go to the attic. T- Timothy is is really interested in playing with him right now, and <laughs> I, I don't know if this is the best time. I'm doing it. He, he, oh dear God! He, he gave him his ball. I'll just I'll calmly walk up there. It's too late. <laughs> you going up? So yeah. Yeah. okay, so as I guess as the door opens, I'm just gonna like raise my M4 like at the door. I walk up the You him. can see the door and then you see up top. You won't be able to see in. I walk over over to uh to Lane and I put my hand on it and I just lower it. You, when you walk up, you see Chamberlain just looking like, oh, this is so good. He's not even eating his hamburger. He, I mean, he loves his hamburgers, but uh, oh my god. Mr. Lincoln. It's too late. I'm, I recommend not doing but that. The, All right. By the time he would have came, I'm already like, Timothy has not made friends with you yet. What's a Timothy? As you open the door. door. <laughs> <laughs> what? You distracted me, bitch. Oh, God. You see a little boy standing in the doorway as soon as you open it with a catcher's mitt in and his face is covered with gore and he's just standing there with his big grin on his face holding his mitt out like he's waiting for you to throw the the ball (laughs) as soon as you cuss at him as soon as you say what the fuck it's canon it happened (laughs) his smile disappears and he gets this big frown on his face Okay. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, back okay. away. I got your back ball. Back away. I toss the ball at him. You, you throw the ball. <laughs> catches the ball. I don't know what what do you do? do? You stand there? I'm like, <laughs> I, got that, I got that blind look on my face like, you got the ball. The door slams oh. open all the way. You had the door open part of the way. The door slams open all the way hard. Are we playing baseball? I, I you want, see the door I, slam I, open. I, I want to pull that bed sheet and just like bring him down those stairs. <laughs> right. and I'm just Act under pressure. I want to see you do this. And I'm just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? Meanwhile, Caspian's just driving in the car. Do, 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 do. A nine total? <laughs> okay. That's a mixed success. Yeah, mixed success. So on a mixed success... Um, I'm going to make a hard choice. Oh, God. So <laughs> he gets a little overzealous. You see, you feel a little slight tug off off the bed sheets. Yeah. All of a sudden you are flying backwards down the stairs <laughs> and you he goes. Oh, you pull so hard. He goes over your head and swings off the edge of the balcony. <laughs> oh. You are about to hit the ground when you are caught by the bed sheets <laughs> over the edge of the railing, swinging like a pendulum. 
You take a point of damage from from the from the impact, the of, whiplash, yeah, of getting hung by the waist by these sheets, and you just you see this happening. You just Malcolm, you just see him just pull, swung over and swinging, and Chamberlain laughs so hard, <laughs> I love- little bits of hamburger spitting all over you while you're down okay, there. I imagine, okay, What's imagine the little this, boy doing. <laughs> I walk over, I walk over to where he's hanging, and I imagine him at. He's upside down at eye level with me. Yeah, he's yeah, he's hanging backwards. there. Um, I uh, told you not to walk in to that door. As I undo the knot, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, fall to the, you fall to the ground. Yeah. Okay. Wait, there's a little boy in there. Um, Speaking of which, what is he doing? I'm still like staring yeah, at the door. Door, door slams closed. Aww, yeah, this is awkward. Timothy's lived here longer than we've been here. Um, don't anger him. I was playing baseball. You haven't made friends with him yet. <laughs> I try. By the way, your house is fucked up. That's why I stay downstairs. What else is in this house? <laughs> Caspian Barnes, you you walk back in and you see yeah, Deshaun lie. Lincoln sitting, laying on the ground on his back. Laughing probably. You see Chamberlain laughing maniacally, like bits of hamburger split all spit all over his shirt. Malcolm's just disappointed again. And, <laughs> and you see Lane up on the top with his gun just like dumbfounded. Like, what the I'm like leaning fuck against, just I'm happened? I'm like leaning against real just like, where am I? I'm shaking my head just like, so, what the hell? Oh, to, to backstory, I did leave the meat in Detective Lane's okay. office. I totally forgot about that. Nice kid. Um, I'm, I'm looking around. I've got the dossier in my hand. And I look I look over at, at Chamberlain. Look at Deshaun on the floor. And I look at it. At, at Lane, I just shake my head with a grin. I'm like, "Well, looks like you guys are finally getting along." And I go after uh, after Malcolm. Make go head down to his office. Yeah, I'm just walking down the stairs. So, uh, did Blaine give you something? Gave me a dossier. Um, apparently, we have to go find a guy named Poet. Did you say Poet? I did say Poet. Okay. Shall I try it in a different accent? <laughs> yeah, you have to use the southern uh, accent. Apparently, you there's a thing with southern twang, accents. I don't know. I don't know. He, if so what I understand, poet is an underling of a uh, vampire of a large. I'm crime sorry. What did you just say? So we're already dealing with the vampires, huh? Well, we're downstairs. I walked down. Well, let me see the dossier first. I to throw see what it, on, it says. I what throw it on your desk. What, what's in it? Yeah, you, you see some of the pictures from the uh, the event that they cleaned up from the other night. You know the the markings from the boxes and, and the information on the inside, and and uh, the chemical containers that were used to to keep the women unconscious and whatnot. They they came from um, they had been previously stolen, and it's something that actually the police have been looking into to try to find out where you know these these things have come from. But as you go through and you see some of that, some of the bodies from the, you know, what they have been able to identify were known underlings of of the criminal organization here under Poet. Um, you are very familiar with Poet. Poet has been a thorn in the side for a while. He's an underling of somebody else. You don't know exactly who, um, but you have an idea. And overall... Um, he's, he's, he's kind of, he's an underling, but he's a big fish. This is a big deal going after poet. And you didn't does it have a, a, does it have a location? Um, it has suspected locations. However, you do know that your best bet of act, getting an actual location is from the, um, the survivor from the other night. The one that left the, you know, got his arm ripped off. Um, he's still alive. He's in intensive care, but he's conscious. He's still pretty, you know, well in shock about over the situation, but he's alive. And if anybody's going to be able to give you information, it's him. Do I have an in to get Adam in the hospital? Uh, well, you, y- yes, you have a detective who can go. And oh, yeah. Then get you guys into the hospital. Because no I imagine he's under police protection right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Why don't you and, um, and Lane, why don't we all go? We'll go to the hospital. Here's a question. We'll use your credentials to get in. Detective Blaine said that I'm to be considered deep undercover. Yeah, I'll contact him. We need your, we need your credentials to get past the guard. If that's good, I just want to make sure I'm not going to be blowing anything. 
Not at this point. I'm, okay. I, that's a bigger. You want to treat it like that because I think there might have been eyes on us. Okay. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. That's. Pro- I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back upstairs and get my badge and uh, get myself suited up like I'm doing business. And we'll okay. go to the hospital. All of us. Um, don't. What if I want to? Well, what if I want to stay here and uh, get to know the one to go? Well, he's coming with us. I drank 20 ounces of Mountain Dew in like 30 minutes. I got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Brooke with Haphazard Fiction and Keeper for the House of Morpheus. Thanks everyone for tuning into this episode. And if you would like to keep up with us behind the scenes, check us out on social media. You can find our links to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all on our website at haphazardfiction.com. And if you like what we're doing so far at HHS Studios and would like to help us grow and improve our content, you can join us as a patron. Just go to patreon.com and search Haphazard Fiction, and on our dedicated page, you'll see our different Patreon levels. You can help support us for as little as $3 a month, and not only will your support help us increase the number of stories that we're able to provide to you, but you'll gain access to exclusive content like our Be Real shenanigans, uh, one-shots, and more. Now, this isn't a sponsored message, but this game would not be possible without the guys at Evil Hat who produced this great game. Monster of the Week and the new Tome of Mysteries are both available now for purchase on their website or at your local game shop, like The Dragon's Lair in San Antonio, Austin, and Houston. Once again, thanks for listening, and I take you back to The House of Morpheus. Everybody's going. Everybody piles into the studio. No, no, no. I said I'm driving. Okay. My car is able to run. I'm driving. You're well, not, first, we're not in your car. Where we're going to the hospital. We're going to yeah, go, go, we're going to go to the hospital. You're going to uh, uh, Denver General. Um, just they've got him under. He's, they say police protection, but he's under in custody. Yeah, basically. But also, he's got a very heavy guard. When you when you all get there. He's got he's got three officers standing guard outside and he's got one inside his room because not only are they wanting to keep him alive to prosecute and to find information, but they're also concerned that, you know, he's a weak link in a criminal organization. They'll just wipe him out to save save themselves. So the cops are doing double duty here. Double duty. I wouldn't have been able to hear that because your microphone is next to your head instead of in front of your mouth. Double duty. There you go. <laughs> he said duty. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk up to the uh, to the cops that are standing by. I'm mm-hmm. going to put my I'm gonna badge on my chain. I'm going to pull okay. it out. Uh, gentlemen, I need to uh, I need to have a, a few minutes with the with the victim in there. All right. They just they nod you aside. And You're a detective. They they, gonna, they know the difference. I'm going to take. Creed with me, and I'm gonna look at uh, Lane and Deshaun. Be like, gentlemen, just wait out in the lobby. Just keep, keep an eye on what's moving around out here. You are very questioning of everything. You're gonna look at. A, you're gonna pay attention to a lot of things, Deshaun. And you, I need you to be out here to keep him safe. All right. So I'm gonna take Creed with me. I have an idea. What? There's no doors to go in. <laughs> you, do you want to make friends with the hospitals, Timothy? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make friends with the nurse, but I guess, you know, I'm down for whatever. Well, you try that. I'll be making sure nobody tries to stab you in your back. Mal- Malcolm. What hospital <laughs> we end up going to get stabbed in the oh, back? I, I, no <coughs> large firearms, by the way. Oh, no, I just had. I, I, <laughs> he walked in with an M4. Surprise! There's a missile launcher on his shoulder. Malcolm. Right. Mal- I'm, I'm going to look at Malcolm. I- this is a little out of my depth still, so uh, when we get in there, I'll let you take points on questioning. Cause... All right. Malcolm, you see a uh, woman standing just at the edge of the hall, and uh, you know she's not really there. Uh, she's very pale, standing in a hospital gown, you know, kind of falling off of one shoulder and just right. blue lips, just just standing there looking at you. I th- thought we were going to go see one of the dudes with the missing arm, not a girl. <laughs> no, we're going to see a dude with a third arm. <laughs> He's uh, describing a ghost. Oh, I'm just a fucking idiot. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I think I saw a light bulb over your head. Yeah, you probably did. It was a very dim one, but yes. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what's he talking about? <laughs> Continue. So like, as like I'm walking up to the door, I look over to the side and then I see her down there. Yeah. And she's looking right at you. I nod my head. She takes a couple steps towards you. Do we notice that? No, you're uh, you're in the lobby. Unless uh, you went, you're, he said he recommended you guys stay in the lobby. Okay, okay. I kind of acknowledge it, and then I go into the room. Oh, okay. uh, does she? You see him looking down. As soon as you're about to go in the room, you see Creed look off to the end of the hallway and nod to empty air, turn, and then go into the room. And I'm assuming this is some kind of ritual or something you got to do before we talk to this guy. I, if we need to leave quickly, be ready to leave quickly. I will be by the door. <laughs> you guys get into the room. The other police officer sitting in the chair, kind of, kind of just. Oh, there's bored. a cop in the room. Yeah, there's three outside, and one inside oh, the room. I guess I'll be with you at the bed side. Get him, get him out. Get the cop out. Get the cop out. Walk over to him. Sir, we've got to question the victim here, but there's going to be some personal psych- psychiatric information we got to do. That's why I brought. I, I don't even really care. You, I'll be back. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. He Thank gets you. out of his chair, stretches. As long as you take control in case something happens, anything happens to him, it's on your ass, not mine. Oh, that's understood. He goes to the door and leaves. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave this questioning to you at this point. Then I'm going to stay by the door in case we have to leave. When the door opens, you see the woman standing there. In the doorway. You can see her when the door opens and then closes. Is she happy? Um, she's just blank faced. Like she's intrigued or curious. Like first off, you saw her and now yeah. she's Okay. This isn't the first time that oh, no. this has happened. Okay. Um so what's this guy's name? Uh you look at his chart and his his name was uh his name is Corey Haynes. I can't. <laughs> That's serious. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you want a different name? Pick a name. No, that's fine. Haynes. Haynes. Yeah. Travis. What's wrong with Travis? Is he, is he, uh, is he conscious? Um, he's kind of. He's he's drugged up. I walk over. I mean, he's, his eyes are kind of up and he's drowsing a little bit. I walk over to him. I'm holding his chart. I, I, so I see his name. I say, uh, Mr. Haynes. Is it? Yeah. I need some information. Hmm. Everybody needs information from you today, and ain't nobody gonna get shits. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I still have my glasses on yeah. at this point, Mister Haynes. Yeah, I think you need to tell me where poet is. Oh no, I don't. Hey, did you know a monster ate my arm? He starts waving his stump up and down. I yeah. lean close to him. I he kind of touches it. It's tender, but I can't. I sent him to you. His eyes snap open. And I pull my glasses down. Yeah, I take my glasses off and I give him a death stare. All right, I want you to roll to manipulate someone. I am paying very close attention to what is going on. <laughs> Man is still highly drugged. Um, so I want you to take a minus one modifier. Um, because of charm, right? Yep, a roll plus charm. <laughs> I fell <laughs> five. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I'm going to spend a luck point. Well, you're, oh, wow, an, an, an irretrievable luck point. It's the first one I spent. So. Um. So, tell me, what do you say to him to make him talk to you? I'm just saying, I'm marking this down. Should we explain what the luck points do for the for listeners? That, excellent point. Uh, every character in the game starts off with a limited number of luck points. Seven. You, you, ha- you have seven luck points. Is it seven? Yes. Yeah, you start off with seven luck points. You can spend it on any roll, um, retroactive if need be. And whenever you do that, it takes any roll to an automatic 12. So you have an automatic success anytime you need it. They are not replenishable. Once you spend a luck, it is gone for good. Once your character is down to zero luck, this is basically a... Bad, bad situation uh, for for the player where their bad luck is now coming to get them. Now, this is a final destination kind of moment when you run out of luck completely. So best save it for when you really need it. So we have decided to spend one luck point. 
So did it for educational purposes. Hey, it's good to, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not because I failed a role miserably. <laughs> he failed miserably. Um, so I had to take my glasses off and with the silver eyes to give him a death stare. It says anything that Mr. Poet could do to you, I can do worse. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Well, I'll tell you whatever you want. I, I, I just, just, oh, uh, he starts, she's, he, a wet spot shows up at his, at his crotch, <laughs> which is really good considering this dude's probably on a catheter. A uh, detective, can you take notes? Uh, I'm going to pull out my pen and paper and start taking notes. I need an address. He gives you the address. He tells you exactly where he lives. This is in, actually, he's not far from here. There's a, uh, he lives in a loft. He lives in a high rise loft. What do you actually do for him? I take the girls, I take the girls from, from the loading spot to the train and then, and then I send them off. uh, Where? Well, I, I think they go on the train that just whatever the time the train takes them. I don't take them. Where anywhere. do the girls come from? All, all over the country, I think. Uh, we've we had New York and Indiana and Utah and how many, Hawaii. How many people work and, for Mr. Poet Oregon in town? And that's and, enough. And how and many Mexico. people? Uh, I don't know all of them. I mean, I don't know. Who does I, Mr. I imagine Poet? there's at least four here right now with all the cops watching me, but there's, you know. Who does Mr. Poet report to? Well, I, I don't know anybody above, above Poet. He's, he, he's the big cheese as far, I mean, he's, he runs, he runs the, the city. Yeah, he likes to think that. You will say nothing. I, I, I will say nothing. We were never here. The, you're the police. You've been here, right? You're, oh, you've never been here. Mm-mm. Do you see a police officer in here? Well, he, you're he, alone. his eyes flick over to him. He's got his You're legs. alone in here with me. Oh. I'm not a police officer. <laughs> not to the extent that you think. His uh, blood pressure starts to spike. His eyes roll back in his head and he starts seizing. Good. Just come and walk out of the room. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to give it a few seconds. I'm gonna the alarms go off as soon as the, the alarms go off. Yeah. You know, I, I go ahead and open the door and I'm like, help, rushes in. help. The guy is seizing. <laughs> and we just walk. Nurses walk in. I look at, I look at, uh, over at Lane I'm and Deshaun. There. They're, they're down in the, the lobby. lobby. Oh, you went down to the lobby? Oh, I thought y'all were right outside the door. Deshaun, where did you go? We both went to the lobby. Yeah. Oh, both of y'all went down to the lobby? Let's yep. all go to the lobby. All right. So we go down there and we'll leave. Josh, roll, act, roll and act under pressure roll. I am going to Looking for that girl. use unfazable, which gives me a plus one to my cool. Okay. So I got a nine. My pl- I already have a plus two to cool, and so now I'm a total of a twelve. Something wrong was about to really happen, and f- you, it it stops. I mean, like you just know deep inside that something wrong was about to happen. As soon as he opens the door and steps out ahead of you, he the woman turns so he walks into her, and you can see she was about to try to possess him. Possess who? Oh, do I am I, am I aware you, of what that? Is and yeah, yes, you you recognize it, but as soon as he, but it doesn't stop him. Wesson is able, he just, or not Wesson, Captain uh, Caspian just takes another step, like nothing happened. You see him kind of shudder, kind of look around a little bit, and they just keep stepping on. She looks kind of angry. Not now. I, I look at her. And I just not now. She kind of she gets a sad look on her face, and then I walk, and then we walk away. She's okay. <clears throat> While you two. Deshaun and Deshaun and uh, Wesson, you guys are down in the lobby. Yep. I'm just trying to, you know, I like a a lady in a in the nurse outfit. You're talking to somebody, trying to talk off, talk to one of the nurses, and yeah, the, man, uh, that's hot. You're you're talking to to one of these nurses, and of course, you're using, I guess, what you call or would consider your smooth radio personality voice. That's right. And you're right. watching this happen, and this lady's not having it. How do you know? I would like to make a roll on that. 
He's your How dare That's you? Let's roll for every interaction and everything we do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't appreciate the tone you took. You know what? Let's not talk about she that. She wants <laughs> nothing to do with you. <laughs> Excellent work. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give you that experience because you feel really dumb afterwards. She's like, um, I'm working and uh Wait, did I get hell that? no. I, as, as she says this, I just kind of like in my chair, I just kind of yeah. like put up my hand over my eyes like this and left. As you're getting shot down by this nurse in the lobby. Yeah, in the game. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just like to be like a youngish girl actually walks up to you. Wait a minute. And she, she's wearing, you know, like a, like a green army surplus jacket and, you know, oh, just shit, cr- too, ratty jeans and, you know, carrying some kind of a rucksack. And she walks up, she comes up, wait, are, are you Deshaun Lincoln from, from time for truth? Why? Yes, I am. Oh dear God. Oh my God. You, you, you are amazing. I, 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 I've been I've been following your career. And she she reaches into her bag and she pulls out like National Enquirer and stuff. Time out, because this is one of those things that's really convenient, you know. And I've I've got suspicious minds. So if someone's lying to me, I know they're fucking lying to She's me. She's not lying to you. She she knows your show. No 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 no. She says she knows my show, but that she's an actual fan. She's a fan. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's you okay. know she's not lying. You know she is a fan of our show. Cool. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know how you put together everything. Like she like said, she's pulling out of her bag like the Inquirer and us and copies of different newspapers, and they're all just crumpled up into this bag, like just stuffed in there. I pull out my 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 mark <laughs> my Microsoft Surface Pro three. If Microsoft is listening, <laughs> <laughs> we love a sponsor. Um, I pull out my Surface Pro 3 tablet and I'm like, yeah, look, you got to check out these pages. You know, just. Wesson, you see a girl, a fan has actually just walked up to him like he is the bee's knees. He is like who, king who, shit. Who, okay, time out. Who, who says who bee's says knees? Bees knees anymore? <laughs> Old <laughs> people like me say bee's knees. Yeah, you would. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to kind of sit there and shake my head and be like, oh, God, I'm in hell. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't pertain to you, I guess. As I, I Your hell is really weird. <laughs> I, I would love, I mean, do, do you have any hints for somebody, you know, a new up and comer? Like she, she grabs some of these and starts, she just like gets on the floor, you know, finds, pushes a chair out of the way and starts playing her stuff out and like different articles and stuff, putting them together. It's like, I, I'm trying to see what you see. I'm trying to see the way you see things and the way they happen because I don't understand how you put it together because, because, you know, the Illuminati is listening and I know we have to be careful, but I don't, I don't. I don't know, because if, if the government gets gets control, I, I, what do we do? Where do we go? Well, you have to have you have to be ready, baby. Well, how, you how gotta do have I get a re- bug out bag? A bug out bag. What do, what do you have in your bug out bag? I mean, fuck, man. I go through. You want to talk about? Did you break it out? Like you break out your, and shit. You, you break out your bag and you well, start no, showing shit. My car, so I'm not gonna have it on me. Okay. Like right now, I know I'm with a bunch of mythical ass shit. My bug out bag means shit right now. <laughs> so I'm okay with leaving it where it's at. But I just go over like the naturals of what's in a bug out bag. And I talk about, you know, there's this, the mountains in Colorado and there's some cave systems that are warm throughout the winter or some shit like that. Okay, oh, I mean, I could totally be making this shit up right now, but I don't know. Something like that. You start talking to her about things like, you know, bug out bags and, 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 you know, hot, you know, safe spots and, you know, caves, caves. Do you, do you have caves that you know of that you'd I mean, like to show me? She's cute. Yeah, that. but I'm talking to you and I'm making eye contact with you. <laughs> well, don't pretend that <laughs> you're making contact with a cute girl. I don't pretend with you. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, 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 come on over here and uh, pretend to be a cute girl. <laughs> yeah. You got the hair. I guess, I guess this is that girl here. Um, Oh, okay. don't actually look I at him. I and I thought he was coming. I was like, no. Oh, no, I'll just sit right here. We can we can act it out like this. <laughs> look. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just tell her where there's stuff at. I mean, what? Does she want to go back to my apartment? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I have some stuff at the house that I can show you. Well, I, I, I would r- r- right now. I'm not. I, I get, I mean, Aunt Cassie's not going anywhere. She'll be here, but yeah. Okay. Oh, is your aunt here? Yeah. No, you got to take care of her family. Well, she's, yeah, but I, she's been here for two days and I'm just, it gets boring. I can wait. What? Well, okay. When? At eight o'clock tonight. But I, she, she looks all sad and disappointed all of a sudden. She's, you don't mean it. I, I, I thank you. I give I, her my name and my number, my address. I'm like, up to you. Oh, so you you want me to just come to your house? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> she said, "Come to, not come in." Oh, come to, not come in. I, I, I just said yes. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. You're reading into that a little too much. So, as we're walking down, uh, you see him chit chatting up with some little girl. I just. <laughs> Wait, how little is little? <laughs> well, I mean, she's 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 Petite. probably early twenties. She's small, but he's a big guy. Um, I'll catch up with you. Okay. So I look around. Is that she's still back there? She's the ghost. Yeah. She's just watching you now. She's not. A motion like is there like a side room that we walk by or something like that? Hmm. I motion to her. Okay. She follows she's, you. Over. She follows me. Yeah. And you. Go. So you, as far as you know, I'm talking to nothing. <laughs> you telling me to go? Yeah, I'll meet you in the lobby. Okay, I'm gonna go catch up to these guys. So I wait till she comes over. She comes over. Can she talk? Uh, no. She can't talk to me. No. Why are you here? Well, do you? She's dead. You know <laughs> that's why she's here. No, I mean, it, it, <laughs> she's like did what? You motion, did you? Why did you come to me? Is what I'm. She points to you and she and her eyes because you can see her. Okay. I was okay, I was just curious. Reason. I was just curious if there was any other reason. <clears throat> I have the ability to see. She nods. I have the sight. She nods. He was like, yeah, obviously. Sometimes there's a reason why I see some people, and I just wanted to know. She holds her hand out to you. <laughs> You take yeah, her hand. I take her hand. All right. I'm curious. You you can actually feel like a gentle breeze come off across her hand. You don't actually feel feel her, but as soon as that uh, you see her hand brush what would be yours, you you get flashes, and you actually see her looking up, and then all of a sudden, white goes across her face, and you feel and you can kind of feel this tension as you're trying to breathe, but you can't breathe. And all of a sudden there's nothing and it's black. So you basically, it's like you felt her being suffocated. She's laying there looking up the white of the pillow going across her face. And then she can't breathe as she's suffocated. Somebody killed her in her sleep here. When I have the opportunity, I'll find who did it. Her 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 arms kind of just kind of drop in like a like a you know sign of relief, like oh thank God finally you know so. Be in peace, and I walk. So you come out, uh, Caspian T Barnes. You guys walk down the stairs. You see Deshaun Lincoln talking to a, a pretty young girl. I am actually gonna. I want to, I guess I want to see what's going on. I want to use tactical genius uh, to, I want to read a bad situation. This is not a bad situation, so to speak. However, you, um, cause I'm, I'm already jumpy. And the fact that he's just talking to some random person. I will actually say. Yes. You, yeah. Read a bad situation. That, that'll that work in the situation. All right. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> I get to use my cool instead of sharp because of my tactical genius. So it gives me a plus two. Um, all right. Um, and I'm going to be kind of just far enough away that she won't see me. But if something is amiss, that even if she takes off, I can still catch up to her. 
I got a five plus two. That is a seven. You're... Is that what I got? Yeah. Um, on a bat, on a mixed success, you get a, you get to hold one. So you get to ask one question. You get to ask, "What's my best way in? My best way out?" Not really applicable there. Mm-hmm. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's the most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? There's no real no victims. I'm gonna ask: Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Yes. There is somebody setting in a set of chairs uh, surrounded by people over by like overflow to the ER. Um, and one of them is just staring at this conversation between the two. I'm going to walk up to I'm going to get Lane's Are you attention. A <laughs> Lane, I'm going I'm to look at Lane and I'm just going to nod at you and I'm going to tilt my head slightly to the right at her and mouth trouble. I'm gonna, I'm going and then I'm and then I'm gonna walk up to behind the girl staring straight at you, Deshaun. I'm gonna be behind her, but because I'm I'm gonna be towering over her. I'm gonna look right at you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get your attention in your eyes and just do this. I'm gonna whisper. I'm gonna mouth the word no, and then I mouth trouble. So since I, I have that uh, trench coat on, bad trouble. I'm going to like kind of stick Even my better. one hand in it, like kind of against the revolver, just in case. And they're talking about the girl that's talking to me, right? What's that? That's the girl that's talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was already suspicious, anyways. I got this. I know exactly where she's going to be. And I, I look at you. Not her. We need to go now. Am I down there yet? Yeah, you you came out not long behind him. I walk up. Next to you, I'm gonna whisper in, into Malcolm's. Or Malcolm, there is a uh, <laughs> there is a there's a gentleman in the chairs in the corner of the ER. He's got quite a uh, flocking around him, and he's paying exclusive attention to this conversation between Mister Deshawn and this young lady. Casually look over there. Casually look over, and he's not even being. Uh, he's no subterfuge whatsoever. He's not trying to to hide the fact that he's watching. He's just blatantly watching what was the conversation. But now that you know, now that Caspian has come up to the you know to to be part of it, he's watching everybody. Yeah. Sees you looking at him. You guys make direct eye contact. But you're wearing your sunglasses again. So does uh does he look like he's he smirks a little? Is he caring? Does it look like he may work for poet? Does he what? Does he work for Poe? <laughs> He's very well dressed, and you can tell he is a vampire. He's kind of, as soon as you make eye contact, he kind of leans back in his chair a little bit and puts his arms around the people on either side of him in these chairs. And they're just look like normal people. How normal many people, people does he have? I think literally like he's in the chairs he's in. He's in between two people. He just puts his arms over the, you know, over the backs of their chairs and just kind of leans. But he's only back. got two other people or how many in total extra? What? And his little posse does he have? The, he, these are overflow people. These aren't, these aren't. Like he, the, those are people. potential. Oh, those are potential <laughs> victims that he has. He's holding them for potential human shields is what he's. Gotcha. Yeah. I um get the others out of here. Deshaun, ditch the bee. Let's get going. Yeah, I've already done what I need. You guys take off? I, I stay behind for a little bit. I want to see his reaction. And I don't stop staring at him. He, did, he doesn't stop staring at you. I turn around and look at Malcolm. Is he eating a boner? Is, no. I, tur- I turn around and look you at Malcolm. And look Art. at his tent. See? His Art. teeth are getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, are you going to be okay in this? Yes. I don't, I don't stop my look at this guy. It's because you're a vampire. vampire. Huh? You're a vampire. That's what that's why. No. Freak. I just want to get the danger out of here. It's roughly three o'clock in the afternoon. It's still fully daylight outside. I'm like, I got that girl. She's coming over to my house tonight, 8 o'clock. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Well, at least we know where she'll be at. At the mansion? Not my house. That, um, so I, I want to make sure he is, I mean, make sure that he's not going to hurt. Cause I know, I think I know why he's here. I think he's here to make sure that guy doesn't live. Probably. Mm. Well, I got the information I needed. 
<laughs> He's He's That's cold, cold, but but what are you gonna do? You're the man, Steve. Um, I can keep that guy in mind. There's nothing I can do here without other people getting hurt. So I mean, there's not much he can do either. Okay, I'm not going to. When you walk in, you're walking out, and I mean, you, he, he sends you outside, but he's still there, and he's making crazy eye contact with one dude in in this in the lobby. And you see who the guy is. The guy doesn't take his eyes off of him. But, man, there's something wrong with this guy. And you can tell, I mean, there's something seriously wrong. He's overly pale, but he's very, very well kept and clean. Very but it glittery. is daylight. I mean, Lots for everything you know about vampires, they don't come out in daylight. Because mm-hmm. they sparkle. So Wait, we've got those rings on. Wouldn't we be able to see what he is? No. No, mm-hmm. I did this. Not for it that. It gives you... Yeah, the ring gives you potential hints and lets you see more, but doesn't let you see everything. Yeah, that was made very clear earlier. Um, I, w- I start walking up, but I veer it to where I walk behind him. You know, because he's on couches, right? He's on chairs, but there's chairs facing. There's chairs behind him too. But I try to kind of get close <coughs> to him. You know, where I can lean in. He's already gone, and I walk out the door. But she isn't. Oh damn. He said, fuck you. You're wrong. Oh, she, was he referring to the, the yeah, girl? Clearly the ghost lady. You don't know what she's talking about. You don't know about no ghost. I'm just helping you out. Dude. <laughs> no one knows about that. This is your conscience for your... Jiminy? I have none. So. I have an accent <laughs> sound. An accent. I, I leave. But... Who is that lady you were talking to, Deshaun? Who is the lady you were talking to? The groupie. I'm not sure how else to say that. You saw like the <laughs> copies of the Inquirer and all the garbage magazines that some of it, you know, some of it's actually true and happens and stuff. But she's like, you see her like stuffing it back into her bag. She's in danger. <clears throat> huh? She's in danger. Um, what did you tell her? I told her to come over to my house tonight around eight. Okay, we have to be there when she gets there. Okay. Who was the who was your friend in the chair? We need to go get armed. Wait, and what I the get we we'll just head to the car. What the hell's going on? All right. What do we need for uh for her weapons? What works against them in your world? Uh, I mean, right off the bat, silver. You know, stake to the heart. Brute force generally does the trick in any situation. Decapitation, you know, silver. Um These you nuts. have silver bullets, right? Okay, that's what you'll need. I look at you, I'm like, is he a vampire? Yeah, but we don't want to do anything here. <coughs> All right. There's too many innocents in a hospital. I'm cold, but I'm not that cold. So <laughs> I understand. So we go back, uh, go back to the house, get what we need. I'm going to bring um, Chamberlain with us when we go back, but I need to talk to him before we leave. Uh, yeah. I owe you. Oh uh, yeah. You can have a little twitch. A little you, twitch happens. You can have whomever is not tainted that works for them tonight. Oh, where are we going? He, he's deep perks up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get me some man meat. There's going to be a vampire. Are you alone? But they never come alone. Are yeah, you? just hit me and him. Okay. They never come alone. And they always have minions with them. Well, that'll be good because we're really running low if we're going to take care of the, you know, Captain, Captain Blaine. Well, they don't, don't eat everything. Well, n- no, I know better, but I get the hearts. You get the That's, share. Are you share? I don't know what he likes. I, what y'all do with it is beyond, I just, I'm an enabler. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that's I, all I have. So how many are coming? How, how many are I we talking no here? There may not be any. <coughs> but that rarely happens. Wait, what? How, how big a fight is this going to be? It's a vampire. It's never a small fight. Oh, so he's going to bring people. Right. So I get the people and, and, and they're going to take care of the, va- the vampire. Well, we may need your help with that, too. Uh, what, In a crossfire, if they shoot me, I'm going to kill them. It's just, it, I don't want to, maybe I don't want to, but I might. <laughs> it could happen. He has a little vendetta against me, I think, still. 
we'll see what happens. If if you can gather what you can without ever being seen. Oh, can't promise nothing there, but I will definitely have a good time. But no innocence. Well, I know. Oh, God, it's not like it's my first rodeo. Well, I've had to cover up before. Well, n- not people. I, I I didn't know it was a prize calf. I <laughs> man, son of a bitch. All right, so one fucking cow that apparently everybody in the world loves, and it's just Oops. over. I'm gonna go up. home and buy some candles and stuff. You're gonna go home, and you're gonna clean up and <laughs> yeah. throw away all the Mountain Dew cans and the pizza yeah, boxes. I would and, not go back to your house right now. It's dirty. You can take somebody with you. Tamerlane. He's not your we're main. We're all going together. No, we're going to hang out. I don't think I spelled out clearly what's going to happen. No, okay. He means he's going to go after you go back to the house. You're all going back to his house, right? Are you planning on having one on one time with a girl? Because that's not going to happen. Look, first is my house. Number two, me and Chamberlain go hang out at my house while I'm cleaning. He's just going to talk to me. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's your call. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen. Okay. The lady that you were talking to. Is a lady. Is yes. going to be used as bait. Okay. To get you to your house. Okay. So that guy who was a vampire uh-huh. can kill you. Understood. I figured that out. So if you go by yourself, you're not going to live. Because I guarantee there's somebody there right now. I, I know. I'm not going by myself. Chamberlain can only protect you to a certain point. I understand. I'm just. And once he turns, I can't guarantee that he won't. Harm. It's not a control. No, it's a, I, it's I, a little I, bit of control. It's, it's, it's not, some, not much. No. How, how far away was I from you in the last thing? How far, how far away was I again? Well, you but, were on the other side. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> That's my point. I uh, know when to go. If if we're gonna if I'm going with you, we have to take the bus. Okay. All right. Just letting you know. Let's go. Let's get on the bus. Okay. I, what is it Who wants to ride in the remember, bus? Remember the seats? They were all sticky. Yeah. If you want to get dirty? It's up to you. Why? What? I. Well, I gotta put a, put the pieces somewhere. Okay. Can we clean one of the seats so I don't get sticky? Okay. <laughs> All right, then. We're good. All right. Cool. See how easy it is to get on the bus? <laughs> <laughs> get on the damn bus. All no, right. gr- no grenades or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you get on the bus, and man, it's like 10 minutes straight of cleaning one seat. Before y'all go, though, while y'all are doing that, Lane, Caspian, and I will go ahead in the Studebaker and look, do a Mr. Detective over here is going to do detective work. I'll drive my car. Oh, we can go in your car. We can go in your car. Actually, that's probably better because my Studebaker might stick out a little bit. You stick out too. But at least we have the horsepower to run if need be. That's true, but I also think they know me. That's a fair point. I didn't think of. Um, we'll go, we'll go there and we'll, we need to park a, probably a block away or something like that. Okay. And then you do your, your detective work. Well, you're there 10 minutes of, uh, seat scrubbing with, uh, sandy wipes and handy wipes and whatever you can find is what it, you know, you guys get about a 10 minute head start on them. Plus, you know, he doesn't drive that fast in the bus. So you get out there, you start scoping. I mean, his apartment. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's standard daily business. I mean, except for what could, I mean, unless there's something in the apartment building. Well, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll actually, uh, get out of my car and like go into the building to see if I see any, but like waiting inside, like the halls or anything. Okay. And read a situation inside. Okay. All right. So you're going to go in, you're going to search around, read a bad situation. I got an 11. Ooh. On 11, you get hold three. So you get to ask three questions. What's my best way in? My best way out? What dangers haven't we noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? As of now, what's the biggest threat as I'm moving through his apartment complex? Um, that a vampire is coming. 
I mean, and you have a pretty good understanding that, that, that they're coming here. There's that she was bait. Okay. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Yes. As you're going through second floor, you on it, you see two or three different doors that look like they were potentially forced opened and closed and kind of cleaned up. So something could have happened in there already. You get onto the third floor and you see another door like that. Two doors down from him. Two door down, two doors down from uh, Lincoln's apartment. I'm going to try to set up an ambush. <laughs> I think they've already set up the ambush. <laughs> oh, I'm going to. But that's exactly it. It's reverse psychology. They would never suspect somebody to ambush the ambushers. <laughs> Does it work that way? <laughs> Nobody expects a Spanish Inquisition. You have four noticeable doors. Yeah. So you disrupt one, depending on how many of the four, how are you going to stop others from noticing? You ambush one. Oh, no, that's no, three no, no, others no. That I'm, I'm going to make this, you know, very, very easy. I'm going to sit on the second floor, right in the hallway with my gun right across my chest. And as soon as doors start opening. Hello. Okay, so you're sitting on a floor in the apartment. Okay. All right. Well, they're not expecting her to get there until 8 o'clock. For my third question, what is going to be my best way out when shit hits the fan? Um, you would wreck You probably would go up to get on the roof and then take a fire escape down. Okay. Good to know. Go up through the outside. That's going to be your best way to get out of here without putting other people in danger and then, you know, crossfire and everything. Cause they're the way the doors are set up. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna, and, uh, and so I tell you this and Caspian this, I let you know what my plan is. And I was like, y'all set up, do whatever you feel you got to do. I was like, I'll just be waiting for him to hopefully draw fire and save not only our own teammate, but this girl as well. And then I'm just going to sit in the hallway with my M4 across my chest. I'm going to pull my revolver out and just have it like right against like the M4 on my chest. And I'm just going to stand there waiting. Deshaun, are you uh, armed? Raw. Deshaun. Are you are you are you you still have that gun that. uh, Well, no, I have a shotgun. Okay, have have that ready. Well, I mean, I'm going to take it upstairs with me. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Actually, it's probably already in the house because we haven't taken my car for a while, right? Is the car back at the compound? Yeah. yeah I would have so brought my bag with me then. It's about 530 in the afternoon now. You got a couple hours ready to get ready. So you're going to start. You're going to post up at like 530 in the afternoon. Oh, absolutely. OK, so I have nothing but time. And you patience. start walking up to your apartment and he's sitting on the front on the second floor. His, his gun in his lap and his pistol in his hand. Oh, you're that obvious? Oh, I'm like, do you realize that someone sees you? They're calling the cops, right? Well, if I hear footsteps, I put the gun away. I'm waiting for I, I have like a full length trench coat. So it's simple to just like just slide like, the gun. around. <coughs> don't don't scare the girl away. Well, actually, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I was about to go. That's, <laughs> that's probably a terrible idea. idea. <laughs> for her sake, it might not be. Barnes, what are you doing? I'm, I'm still sitting in the car waiting outside. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of the car. I'm going to find some place to just kind of sit in the shade and uh, keep an eye on the exterior of the building. Because whenever these these guys are going to show up, they're going to show up probably right around when everything needs to happen. And I want to be able to you know, ascertain the situation from the outside and you know, basically be a flanking set of help. Which is exactly what I need. All right. Um, you get home. You start cleaning. Okay. Chamberlain, you get Chamberlain's up in your apartment with you. It's like, man, this place is a mess. I know, man. How, how do you live like this? Man, I, I don't you know. You give a shit about our house <laughs> and you live like this. So, Chamberlain, what's a Timothy? What, uh, a Timothy? A Timothy? What's or the Timothy? <laughs> Clearly the Timothy. Yeah, he's a little boy that died in the house. It wasn't pretty. So uh, we got to be friends with him. Otherwise, you know, shit goes bad. And he just stays in the attic. The whole, what happened to him? He doesn't stay in the attic. Sometimes he's, oh, I've seen him in your room. It's all right. He's just, you know, I'm not saying he watches you when you're sleeping, but sometimes he's watching you when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> 
a little creepy shit. Yeah, just a, just well, a I don't sleep in the house anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a fucking ghost. They suck. So why is he only? Why is he get mad when you go to the attic? Well, he, he wants you to play with him first. You have to get to be his friend, and then he won't kill you when you go to the attic. Because he will kill you when you go to the attic. What's up there? Uh, the darkness. Remember when we said don't talk to the darkness? That's where it is. He's the darkness? No. He's the protector. He protects the darkness? Uh, kind of. He's the gatekeeper. He's yeah. going to keep you away from the... He'd kill you before the darkness could kill you, so that way you don't die in the darkness, which is worse. <laughs> so how do you make friends with Timothy? Well, you got to play with him. Just baseball? He just plays baseball? Well, not just baseball. He's a kid. He likes whatever. He's like Xbox. I, 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 where are you going to get an Xbox to work? In the Faraday cage? He, oh, okay, okay. It's a magic Faraday cage, so the magic can't go with him. So you wouldn't be able to take a ghost into the magic Faraday cage. Why is a ghost magic now? It's a fucking ghost. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Mary fucking Poppins. Well, do you know that? You know so much about ghosts. When you think the government's the one trying to do everything and you think it's not, it's, it's ghosts. It works pretty well. All right. Well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Are you friends with Timothy? Well, hell yeah. I don't fucking want him messing with me, man. That kid's creepy. Do you think he can play? Does he like to play pranks? Oh, absolutely. How, how do we how, how do we summon Timothy? Well, we don't summon Timothy. He goes where he wants. It's his house. No, I know. But like, what if I want to talk to him? Well, just start talking and maybe he's listening. Maybe he ain't. Sometimes you're going to be talking to yourself. All right. Q. Yeah. Hey, check out this magazine. What? what that man? Oh, look at those girls. <laughs> yeah. And hey, they look delicious. Oh. He, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he, start, he twitches a little bit. He kind of gets like a little like a Tourette's neck jerk. That's weird. Like, oh. It's, uh, you know, it gets about 630. It's dark outside. Nothing happening. 730. It's dark outside. About a quarter till the girl starts coming into the house. And she's oh, all by start, herself. I'm just gonna like turn around and kind of like like look out a window and I we're, we're did I do I see her come up to the building? Yes. Okay. We're still outside, so do we yes. see uh, we see her, but do we see anything following her? No. <sighs> Wish we had a way of relaying info to the rest of the team. You can call me. Okay. You make the phone call. It's staticky. The phone call is staticky. Okay. Oh wait, yo, did you, you're gonna say you got a new phone? <laughs> we're just gonna say you're in the Studebaker. <laughs> So, um, hey, uh, Lane, the, the, the girl's coming up. Alrighty. Thank you for letting me know. All right. She comes up, she goes inside, comes up the second floor. There's the, the girl walking up. As soon as, she, as soon as she walks in, we start walking in. You and me okay. start walking in. She's super chipper. She's like super chipper. Like she's really excited to be doing this. This is going to end. <laughs> I'm going to have my cell phone. Like I'm talking to someone with all my guns hidden as she walks past me. Mm-hmm. Then as soon as she's on the third floor, it's just back to. We walk in the door and start moving up. All right. You get into. Uh, she's not, you need to knock on your door. <sighs> All right. A little nervous. Jim, Jim, but wait, where am I? Do, do I just stand here? No, you're the repairman and you're leaving. Oh, God, what am I fixing? I don't have any tools. I, just fucking high five. Don't worry about it, man. You're I don't the, have any she tools. Doesn't, she doesn't he, know. He starts like walking around like a robot. Like he doesn't know what to do. He's like, uh, I, I could be your butcher. Yeah. I'm, I'm cutting some steaks for you. In yep. the, you you, you got to fix you, the steaks because your steaks are hey, broken. Just act like you got the meat. I'm open, um, open the door. Hey, hey, man. Thanks for the steaks. Your uh, steaks are good. I, I got them for you. All right. Mr. Reed's so, downstairs, man. I'll catch you later, brother. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Hi. Hey, uh, Cindy. Oh, hello, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring your fava beans? <laughs> A little she, he leaves. He walks out. And Chamberlain walks down to the first, the second floor. He's like, "Oh my god, that was terrible." I'm. I was like, I think two of us should go to the third floor. Well, we're all headed up. I'm going to be staying on the second floor. Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Say. 
with us. Okay. I'm going to move <clears throat> and I'm going to stand in the stairwell to the third floor. So like as the door, if anybody does come out the doors, I can shoot and move up. So Cindy's in your, she's with you. All right. I, I'm super excited to be here. Oh, no, it's all good. You, so, would you like a drink? Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? Fuck, man. I, man, fuck. Whatever single dudes I have, I don't know. Budweiser? Tang. You have Tang? Yeah. No, there's liquor in the house, for God's sake. Strawberry. What do you make her? I don't know. I ask her, what, what does she want? Fuck. I grab a couple bottles of wine. I don't give a shit. It doesn't... You... It's your house. You tell me what you got. J- Jack and Coke. Oh, I, I, yeah. That would be... That sounds That right. sounds good. She kind of makes a face. Would you rather have a beer? No, not really. Well, what, do, what do you like, dear? Uh... I like you. This is really look, man. You made me uncomfortable. Right now. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Well, let me show you some stuff. And I put the tablet on the TV and start talking about the fucking the crazy. Are you sitting? Are you like sitting on the couch or? Yeah. You sit on the couch and she puts her hands on your on your thigh. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It's like this is great. Start getting a boner. I mean, what do you want from me, dude? You smell really good. Do you, what kind of cologne you wear? No, nah, man, this is too fast. This is too fast, dude. You got a you got a cute girl with her hand on your thigh. Have you met my character? <laughs> no, nah, man, this is bullshit. <laughs> I can't even have a good time <laughs> without thinking something's wrong. <laughs> like this is bullshit. You just tell her this is bullshit. No, I'm like, like I look at her mouth. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> But so, yeah. So why why are you looking at me like that? She kind of kind of smiles a little bit. Okay. You want to you want to kiss me? Oh, well, Brooke, what do I see? <laughs> you see her smiling at no, you. No, bitch, look at that one. <laughs> Is she snaggle too? Does she got vampire teeth? I mean, I wait. think he's looking for fangs. Oh yeah. well, I mean, she's not smiling so big. You Thank can tell you, her Rob. she's got fangs. She's not doing a big old ah. Check out my teeth. I, I tickle her. her. You oh, tickle her. You know. You t- man, you go up on her and she laughs. And as soon as she she laughs. Boom, they pop out. I punch her in the fucking face. <laughs> All right. Roll act under pressure. <laughs> Do you scream? Yeah. <laughs> I, I you know, scream. The- <laughs> He's screaming in the pocket. I screamed like a girl and I punched her girl in the face. You punched her <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared. What happened? She's a vampire. Ah, <laughs> Hey man, I was still gonna try that. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, uh, this is this is gonna be an actual kick in the ass. You're I punching should, her in the face to I know, hurt her. Damn, I should have done something first, and then found out she was a vampire. Dang, I regret my actions. Now. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's too late. All right, here we go. I am. You, rolling you can call a different X. action if you want to do a roll a different action. I kind of want to help her out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! No, yeah, I think my reaction naturally would be to punch her in the fucking face. Right. I don't know how else to react to a vampire because I'm trying to get the fuck out. All right, no, actually, dude, this is gonna be an act under pressure. Okay. Come on, don't let me. Oh. I'm going to fucking fail. <laughs> So you go to push, you go to punch her in the face. She slides over to the, I mean, she's just like supernaturally fast slides over. You hear screaming in the hallway. She's like, well, that was unnecessary. And she just chomps down on you. Ah! Hey, you take, take two points of harm. Holy shit. You hear screaming in the hallway. Uh, running into his she bit me. She fucking bit me. Who was upstairs first? You, you guys we were actually. All, we were all. He was standing at the, the bottom he was in of the stairs watching the. We, we had gone up to. So we walked in. He stayed back and he was looking to make sure no one came up behind <coughs> us. Right. So. You hear him screaming inside the door. <laughs> Act under pressure. Kick that door down. Please kick it down. Uh, hold on, that's a he, broke, he broke his act under pressure is plus cool. Uh, so that'd be a six. Can I use my unfazable and make it a seven? Okay, don't. What's your cool? Uh, it's a, it's a plus two. All right, so it's a, this is a plus cool act under pressure. So it's six uh-huh. plus two but plus your unfazed. So it's a seven. So because it gives me a plus one. What did you roll? Oh, you roll four, seven. So you have a mixed success. Um, which I'm gonna. Keeper is going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or a price to pay. 
you kick down the door and you, and you, and you, man, you twinge your knee. Okay. As you're, you stomp the door open, you step in and you stumble and fall down. Um, so you're on one knee. Okay. So moving forward, you're going to get a minus one on any attack roll Got it. that you make in here. Cause you're not going to, you're going to be in pain and not be able to move. Right. Caspian, the sexy vampires got me. So you, you right. step in. I'm right behind him. So <laughs> what'd um, she bite me? Huh? What do you think? She bit you on the neck. Oh, sexy funny. vampires turned it's me weird. on. It doesn't feel like she knows what she's doing. Because, you know, this is not what you would expect. You'd expect it's like she's almost kissing your neck as much as she's biting you. And I was so, like, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. <laughs> it's but it, do, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't feel good. It just feels like this is fucking no. I, I see an interview with the hey, vampire. This is not how they hey, do it. You don't know what I'm into. <laughs> Oh, you know, all right. yeah, how dare you? How dare you? He, uh, Caspian fell to one knee in front of me. Yep. The door's open, though, yep. right? You have a room in. So I have. You see her straight shot. I had my, uh, my, uh, my gun. Pop, shoot. Pop Are you shot fucking at shooting at her while she's biting my neck? You yep. better make that fucking shot. <laughs> You're kind of freaked out seeing a vampire or somebody on him like this and him screaming. So this is going to be more of a, an act under pressure versus a kick some ass. Like, I'm trying to punch her well, in the boobs. <laughs> Like anything at this point. I have unfazable. Okay, so that gives you a plus one. Plus one. Um, <clears throat> five. <laughs> so it's five plus seven. two, seven. Comedy of errors here. <laughs> so. Oh, actually, five plus. That's seven, eight. So it still makes success. Um, you shoot her. And you shoot her in the back. The bullet goes through her and hits you. <laughs> <laughs> so you shoot her square in the back. It's enough to make her, her face fly off of him. Um, so she's not on his neck anymore. And you take one harm. That's not nine millimeters to harm for her. I'm unstable. You've, how many? You've only taken two this game. No, three. He just took two from the bite. And, and then you, one from the gun. He's at three. That's three. Yeah, yeah, and then I took one earlier. When did you take one earlier for? When, when I fucking he fell. fell. He fucking oh, pulled me down was, the That bandster. was early enough. You got that one back. <laughs> she flies off you. You get shot in the chest or in the stomach, you know. I, I scream. Yeah, you, you're screaming, doubly screaming. Um, but she, sure. she jumps off of him. Wesson, back to you. None of these doors are opening. Not a one of them, huh? Nope. All right, well, then I guess I'm going to move into the room and I'm just going to like uh, take out my revolver and I'm just going to just aim it right at her and pull the trigger. OK, she's standing right in front. OK, if you miss, you are going to hit uh, Lincoln because she's right in front of him. Sacrifices must be made. My you, thoughts exactly. <laughs> no. oh, fuck all you know. <laughs> Welcome to the house of Morpheus. So I got an 11 total. All right, Hell man. Yeah. You, you hit her. So on a... And it does four damage since she's my preferred. She is I your nemesis creature. Nemesis type creature. So she's going to be the nemesis tonight. on, on a, kick, a kick some ass, on a 10 plus, you get to choose. You get to uh, take one forward. You get an extra bonus on your next roll. You can give one forward to another hunter. You inflict terrible harm, which is plus one harm. You suffer less harm because she's going to attack you as well, or you can force her. You can force them where you want them. You get to pick one of these actions. I'm going to actually force her to the ground. And then I want, if I can, and I don't know if I can or not, I want to basically like move and like step on her throat with my revolver. I can't do that. No, no, you can, you can force her down. If you want her basically to fall to the ground with your shot, you can do that. I, I, I do. I mean, with three of us in there, if we have enough guns, you shoot her. And as you shoot her though, she's able to pull her claws around. And she swipes at you, but as you shoot her, because she jumped at you, she falls to the ground after that. And you take uh, three harm. Can I have a pencil, please? <laughs> Remember, you have body armor. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I have body. So you take one. Yes. Yes. All right, Mr. Lincoln. She's on the ground. I'm going to kick her in the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> kick some ass. Kicks I'm ass. still squealing the whole time. <laughs> no, I believe it's a different body part. She's <laughs> kicking her in the, in the, in the vamp vagina. Ten. Ten. There you go. Plus, plus your uh, tough. 
That's an 11. Yeah. So once again, a kick. What do you do? You're going to do. <laughs> to get oh, her so one. hard that she flips up on the table. All right. You take <laughs> plus one forward, <laughs> plus one to another hunter. You inflict terrible harm. Kick naturally does zero harm. So this would be one harm that you would do to her. <laughs> you suffer less harm because she gets to attack you right off the bat as well, or you get to force her where you want her. Less harm. I'm less actually going to give plus one to Jared. What? So you're going to do zero harm, but you're going to give plus one to Jared. Yes. All right. I realize I am useless in combat. <laughs> you you kick her in the vag. <laughs> she leans back. <clears throat> She's like, what the? She f- stomps on your knee to to get you down to the ground on top of her, and uh, you take one harm. This is really awkward. I'm unstable. It's like Twister gone wrong. I'm on <laughs> for real. <laughs> you misunderstand what's happening. I'm. About, uh, I thought you said. So she didn't lie to me. She is a fan. It's even weird. Okay, so she, she's on the ground. She was not a vampire earlier. Oh, that sucks, dude. I was going to give me some play. Okay. Vampires ruin everything. So she's on the ground. Is she near me? Uh, she's on the ground. Deshaun is on top of her because she stomped him in the knee so, she'd, so he'd fall down. I'm going to pull out my big knife. I'm going to twist around and I'm going to go straight for the back of her neck. It's like straight. Oh, she's on her her back. Alive. Is she yeah. on her back? Yeah, she's on her back. Because I, she was charging me and I okay. shot her in the chest. I'm going to go through the neck and I'm going to try and pin her to the to the floor through her neck. Okay. So. And I am going to. See if I can do anything. Hmm. Is this going to be an act under pressure or is this just going to be a... Just kick some ass. Kick some... Kick some ass. Okay. Well, I'm going to... For I'm um, for one of my moves, I'm going to use Battlefield Awareness, which gives me a plus one armor. So on the off chance, she does a retaliation. Got that. That's kind of a passive. Yeah, I'm still just announcing it. Because I always know what's happening around me, so I take... I have a uh, plus one armor. That is an eight plus my tough. I have a zero tough. So um, yeah, roll an eight. <clears throat> Which means you you stick her through the neck, and uh, as you get her through the neck, she's basically I mean blood starts gushing out of her, and it's but it's it's cold and it's thick and black and. She's her body just starts flailing like crazy. She bucks you off of her, you know, as she's flailing around on the ground, do screaming, I, do I get her squealing. Into the floor? Oh yeah, she's it does one harm as all. Well. While, while she's flailing around, she scratches your arm, and you take uh, two damage. Um, ignore armor. It, it it ignores both armor. Yeah, even though I've got the reflexive it, thing. Ignore wow. armor. A Persian garment. Just, just making sure you're fucking it up. All right, so I take two points. And I'm just going to, I'm going to put my body weight on top of that blade. She's pinned, dude. She's totally not going it. anywhere. Did you go back around now? Huh? Back, back to me? Back to you. I'm going to walk <laughs> over there and just pop two shots right here. I'm not going to make you rule for that. She's just right flailing around. You take two silver bullets to the chest and she just, she slumps. Can you, uh... Make a quick call to Blaine to tell him to call off any cops coming. I'm going to step away from him so I can make a clean call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're calling cops. Stepping out I'm going to go downstairs. Make sure that everything's clean. You go to your, as soon as you step out, the next door open, the door is open. That door that was, looked like it had been jimmied. Mm-hmm. And there's a man standing in the doorway kind of propped up. And he's got two little kids by the neck right in front of him. Okay. I'm going to shoot him in the head. He, does he still, he's like he's still get the plus one. Poor Jimmy. <laughs> you can do, do it, Jared. Child. Do it, Jared. Oh. That's an 11. You shoot him in the head. You get a choice. Extra damage. Okay. You do five points of damage to the head. You blow part of the side of the guy's head off. And as he shoot him in the head, he crushes the windpipes of these two kids. Happens. He just killed two kids. That happens. What? No. This is just just happens nothing that's happened just happens <laughs> I'm glad I did not see any of that shit his body just falls to the ground uh, so just, what's that Where's Chamberlain? down on the first on the second floor waiting for the doors to open yeah he's waiting for some bad humans so he can kill some people 
Um, I'm like, he's missing all the fucking action. Do we have to go floor by floor? We need to sweep floor by floor. Oh, I was like, any door that looks like it's got broken to check. Yeah. There's another one on the third floor. I want to check the one that this guy just came out of for anybody else in there. I bet all parents right. are dead. Yeah, Barnes, you oh, step yeah. out of the room and you see a man with his head blown clearly off. Like a big chunk of the top of the guy's head is missing. And two kids on top of him, his, their head, they're basically, they're still in the grips of his hands crushed on the floor and they're kicking and, you know, I'm going to run, I'm going to run over. I'm going to grab both of their hands, but his hands, I'm going to break his fingers apart to get the kids out of the grasp. The, the, the kids are, their windpipes are crushed and impaled. Impaled. Yeah. With his fingernails. Oh, is this guy a vampire? Yes. So I guess, well, if I'm going to, if I can tell it's a vamp, I'm going to go ahead and take my blade and I'm going to just go, you, the, go you, the rest of the way on the Kanagan. Okay. You, you cut his head off. Yeah, take his head off. And you as a cop, though, see two collateral damage children. He has no idea here. what killed them, though. Yeah, he does. He just pulled them out of the... I was right down, I was right down the hall from you. Can't you guys see the kids? All I'm saying is you don't know no. that. Why not? They can't breathe. That's it, right? No, the fingernails went into their throats. They went into their tray. Yeah, their toes. You got to put it in the thing. Here so you can, can just put one in. It's right okay. here in their necks. He had yeah. their hands around his hand over the their necks. Arteries or when he else. shot them reflexively, he crushed and stuck his hands through these kids. You're the real monster of the week. I am a murderer. This, uh, this is if, him. Uh, on on a future on. note, the, one of those choices on a perfect success would have been move him where you want him. You could have made him fall away from the kids. But I know in character. That's what your character would do because you want the clean death shot. Yep. You just killed a vamp basically in one hit. Yep. But so. you as a cop, you have a pretty good understanding of this was probably a standoff and this just, this went down. I don't have time to mourn the kids though. Not in a battle situation. We have other doors that aren't With open. Everything going on. I'm not going to have time to sit here and mourn over the kids. Okay. Because I'm always going to be aware of what's going on. You, you, you cut us that off. And these, and I look these down, kids are I dead. look down at the kids and I'm like, dang it. Dang it. This is bad. And I, I, I pull the blade back up out of the out of the, the corpse. I look at the two kids and I, I take the fingers out of them, you know, just so they'll stop twitching. Chamberlain's downstairs. What are we doing now? Is, what, what, am I, I, am I, I going in? I screamed at him like, kick open a door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling in their house. I mean, this might be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss Johnson's going to get a surprise. <laughs> so what I'd like to do at this point, basically, is I want to clear the room he was in. Is there anybody else in there? No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, there's no live people. There's, okay. You see a dead woman on the ground. In the, bath, in the room. So I want to drop um, the two shells, the two cartridges onto the ground. We got to move. And I'm going to go kick another door open well, downstairs. He's going to go downstairs and potentially get involved in the fights where the Wendigo is is going to fight. Is <laughs> no, this no, what I'm you want to do? A, a different door. Correct. Yeah. He's going to be a blender. So, so okay, okay, through okay. apartments. Here, here's the situation. An indiscriminate blender. Let's get spatial awareness for a second. Okay, so you just went into the room where the kids were. Yes. You went into there. You're on the knee on a knee in front of the kids. I walk out. Okay, so w what happens from that point? Well, I was going to go downstairs and go in another room while he tore up. Another. You might not want to do that. Call I was shots. Like, I was like, well, I'm like, why? Do you want Chamberlain to eat you? Not really in mood to die today. Let's let him calm down down there first. You scope the situation and know the best way out. I was like, and that's up. I was like, if we go up to the roof while he's doing work down here, we can get up there and probably take a fire escape down. Is the stairwell? Would the stairwell be safe? You're, this is the stairwell. We're in. We would have to go past him on the right. stairwell. Okay. Okay. So it's not a closed stairwell. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it would be like a closed. No, stairwell. it's just you go stairwell up to one floor. You go to the end of that floor. You stairwell up to the next floor. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. All right. I was like, well, then let's move. Um, they're they're leaving. You're you're on the ground. You can barely oh, move. You're no, I'm gonna out. grab him. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 I'm get like, I'm, let's I'm get grabbing my <laughs> drink and the shotgun and going towards the closet. He's body I'm bleeding inside my chest. <laughs> <clears throat> we mean may need to go back to the hospital today. <laughs> Charlie Murphy. <laughs> you guys get up to the roof, and you hear 
the like horror down below. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> absolutely. This is your fault. This is your fault, dude. Chamber's doing work. Murder and scream. Like screams start and they don't even get to finish. And then like, it's just random people growling, and the growling is so deep it's making the floor rumble. I'm like, you realize how many innocent people you just killed today? Uh, I was like. He was told not to kill innocent people. It's not my fault if he does. You told him, hey, man, just kick doors in. <laughs> Little Miss Johnson didn't live. We don't long. have time to think about that. <laughs> no, we we know. You don't because you're a monster, and I know this. Listen, is anybody going to take care of the unstable guy? Yeah, we're taking. Yeah, medicine. I'll do medic on him. You have medic? Nope. No. Uh, yeah, it's not in your it's not in your wheelhouse. First aid is going to be anybody. It's probably going to be the cop. Nah, I should don't have it. It's not a normal skill. It's just something in your natural repertoire. Would a cop have first aid? Oh, yeah. For first exactly. Oh, I mean, yeah. if, I was, if I was going against people left and right, I'd have to know how to heal myself so I didn't go to a hospital. I mean, if I'm breaking in and killing drug lord people. You'd be in the trained. Distance. Yeah, that's the thing about the cop is the cop would be trained in, in that first aid. So um, I pull an act under pressure. I pull out my surgical surgical uh, taser and I knock him unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, eight. Do I have any bonuses to that? Don't or? spill my drink. No, do you have- act under pressure? What's your oh, cool? Uh, plus two. Plus two. So you Ten. actually, yeah, you man on a perfect success, you get uh, one point back. So you are stabilized and not dying at the moment. Not going to bleed out by the neck. I, I look at you and uh, <laughs> we need to leave. I'm like, I was like, how long is he going to be doing that until it's done? Is he? Go- oh, until he's done. Oh dear God! Was- <laughs> Usually one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Uh, Hopefully, Dishon. he kills all the vampires. Like, like a you know, I'm having cradle over my arms. I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna start running towards the. He's not gonna let you carry him like that. He's bleeding still. Yeah, but you. I mean, are you gonna he let just, him carry you like a baby? He just needs support. He just needs support. He wants to carry you like a baby. I was like, just, I don't care. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> all right, so yeah, you're, <laughs> like, you're dying and, right and, now. And you're basically, hurt. I'm going. Fucking hold on tight. I'm gonna take point uh, with my M4. I'm gonna like reholster the revolver <laughs> M4 and take point. You, hey, you take. You get to the roof. Caspian. Fire escape. You, you get. You have no problems getting Dak back down. Caspian. Yes, I almost, I almost made out with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, son. When we get back to the mansion, I'll teach you about the birds and the bees. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bird. <laughs> At the house, do I have access to uh, medical care? Yes. So we, do we have to take him by the hospital? <laughs> um, like, this is probably not something you'd normally take somebody to the hospital for. Get on the bus. <laughs> That's what, like, so that's what it's okay. Please get on the bus. Yeah. As so, I like rehide my guns and everything, I was like, do we wait for him or do we just leave now? They just leave now. All right. So we leave in your car. You're not getting in my car. I wanted to run. Why does it back to No, it, it, it just, it just, it acts up, but it drives fine. Okay. Right. Splitters and putters. Instead of like a thousand horsepower, it's like four. Yeah. So now, if I was right up leaning like over the dash, it might not start. Yeah. But okay. I'll yeah. sit in the back with you. I'm cradling your head in his hand, in, go, you know, in his um, lap. You'll be okay, baby. No, he, he's not allowed to touch me. Mr. Oh. Creed is not allowed to now, touch me. Now I I'm going to call Blaine. I know he's not explain to him the situation. <laughs> and that there needs to be cleanup here. Like ASAP. ASAP and whatever else the heck that it brings. There's more than one vampire. Yeah, it's oh, called demolish geez. the building. Jesus, man. Uh, do I need to get used to this? Yeah. I don't know. This is your area of expertise, not mine. Well, I'm, uh, I didn't, I didn't, you know what? Honestly, I, didn't, I expected it to be contained into my apartment. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> to kill all my fucking neighbors I've been living next to. You may have to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of figured I might need to get my shit and move and then have my record stricken that I ever <laughs> lived anywhere near this building. Probably a good You guys are dicks. We saved your sorry ass. You saved me. And how many innocent, how many souls were on board of this apartment? Uh, lots. We don't even know. We don't. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, numbers, we don't the numbers aren't yeah, important. Details it's just numbers. Matter. It's important so to this blame. guy. Uh, whoa, whoa, this guy, what? It's important to you. What? Y'all just murdered a bunch of innocent people. I didn't murder anybody. Of course, you're not fully aware of everything that happened. You were there. <laughs> so oh, I, you can I, try to block it out. But a lot of innocent people that had nothing to do with nothing died. And that's why I'm calling in the cavalry. 
I would suggest more than just a cleanup crew, sir. What do you mean more than a cleanup crew? I don't know what your cleanup crew consists of, but there's more than one vampire. <coughs> We've killed two, well, but that was. doesn't mean there's not more than that. <sighs> we discussed uh, thick hey. conversations. We're on a phone. <laughs> there's, we've, we've taken out two Understood. pointy teeth. Understood. We, we will. We will take care of it. I will. The weasels are in the hen house. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's I, better. I noticed that uh, you you have a high turnover on dispatchers <laughs> in the police department. <laughs> 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 Fucking dispatchers just disappear. <laughs> Just, did he really say vampire? <laughs> Just dead, dragged away. All right, you get back to the uh, mansion. You get no, you get back to the car. Everybody's uh-huh. gonna start piling in the car, and there is an envelope on the windshield under the wipers. I'm going to instantly start searching the car for any kind of tracker or bug or tampering. I'll get the envelope and open it. I'm going to <laughs> check for tampering to my vehicle. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna make a roll for it. There's nothing there. Okay, it's just an envelope. I got the envelope. I opened. Oh, you got. It? I was like, everybody, everybody's <laughs> reaching for the it's envelope. Got a big M drawn on the front of it in calligraphy, kind of like your stylized M, uh-huh. but very artsy fartsy kind of drawn away. What's this, what's in the envelope? 